I had one injury with a hip flexure early in pre before preseason, which hindered my conditioning. It was just kind of a nagging one. And then the bigger one was the left ankle sprain that I had probably about halfway through the season and ended up being a little bit more serious than I thought. It was kind of messy. Scopic surgery on my left ankle and it's kind of been an issue that's been I've been battling for probably about a year and a half now but um, it's really been significant halfway through the season um, when I rolled it and uh, I have some bone spurs I think it's like two bone spurs that are in my ankle and it's like restricting my my ankle mobility my movement um, it's affecting kind of like my calf and the muscles around it just because it's just putting more pressures on pressure on other joints and other muscle groups so I'm on, on my way to St. Vincent uh, private hospital I think the surgery is only 20 minutes long so hopefully I'll be out in a few hours um, it's a pretty smooth procedure not too not too worried about it a lot of athletes get it so yeah, I mean, I'm excited just to kind of get this out of the way and just get back to, um, to rehab and just get back to 100%. I'm like so tempted to drink this Powerade. I gotta just, <laughs> I gotta get out this car before I... <laughs> so in fifth, in fifth grade when I had a hernia, I woke up, um, I woke up in the middle of the night. I can't remember what it was. It's probably two, three a.m. and ate like some chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> And literally had to reschedule my surgery for like another week just because like I was being just a fat butt. <laughs> so I learned my lesson and then like literally I had my, my parents put like my sister and mom put signs all over the fridge still just crawled out of bed like in the middle of the night. <laughs> Got me so fucking good. <laughs> my mom was so bad. She was like, wow, you really called the doctor and had to reschedule. But I learned my lesson. <laughs> Yeah, rating my, my performance for this year, I don't know, it'd be ups and downs, you know, I'd, I'd give it just very average. Um, came in um, really excited just to play with, with great players like Creek and, and, and Ty and Gibbo. And it was it was a great learning curve for me, um, first year in the NBL. Of course, even as a team, we just had ups and downs, but I feel like I could really build on this year. Um, having gone through some some tough times, um, I learned a lot. So I think that's really something I can use to, to, to move forward. It was like a pretty easy process, it was about 20 to 40 minutes and um, a lot of it was just um, taking out a little bit of pieces that were in the side of my ankle as well as the uh, bone spurs that were restricting the movement of either the flexibility and my calf muscle. So it was it was nice to be able to get that cleaned up. And it's about a six week process. So we're gonna ease into it, strengthen up a lot of the muscles around the, um, the ankle and as well as the calf. And then, um, yeah, hopefully in six weeks, I, I should be back to 100%. I think next year is gonna be my year to really uh, have a coming out party to, um, to capitalize on my potential. And, you know, I'm gonna have a big summer ahead of me just to make sure that I'm in the best shape um, and the best situation mentally and physically to be prepared for this season. And I think we all are on the same page of, of reaching a good goal, which is um, to get to the finals. So uh, the culture and the atmosphere in Phoenix, it just makes it that much more exciting for next year. My biggest thing right now is defense, as well as um, you know scoring on different levels. I think being only a three-point shooter, um, next year I really want to incorporate more shots, just getting to the free throw line, getting shots in paint, um, you know, just being hard to guard, more deceptive. And as well as just being a better defender and um, you know, being a, a guy that can, can hold his own and can really impact the game on, on more than just offensive. You know, I'm just really excited. I think the NBA is a great league and, you know, I'm just not taking it for granted.